Hi, the YouTube. It's Karen or Shrinking Goofball. It's uh, week 17. Um, having a really crappy day today. Um, nothing to do with my numbers. Um, so I'm going to make this super short. It's late. I'm tired. I'm sore. <laughs> so let's start with my numbers. Like I said, it's week 17. October the 17th, 2012, I started my Optifast diet at 321 pounds. I was on that diet for three weeks. I lost 24 pounds. On November the 7th, I went in for my gastric bypass at 297 pounds. Um, last week, I reported that I was 238.2 pounds. Today, I am 235.8 pounds. That is a total of 2.4 for the week and a total loss of 85.2 pounds, which is fantastic. I wish I kept my uh, son's phone because I could have showed you. I went to uh, um, Old Navy today and uh, I tried on extra larges and uh, everything looked really nice. It's very cool to be able to not have to go to a plus size store. So, yeah, uh, I had my doctor's appointment this morning. Uh, it was for one fifteen, and... Uh, I had to kill some time. I ended up going a little bit early. They did make me wait about an hour. But I think I told you that uh, I was having some problems keeping some of my food down. So I went to go see my doctor, explain what was happening in terms of what I was able to keep down and what I wasn't able to keep down. And uh, he's sending me for a gastrola, gastros, <laughs> gastroscopy. There we go. I did it. Uh, yeah, so I'll be doing that on the 22nd, so another Wednesday in between that to report my video. But uh, I guess I'm going to be fully sedated. Uh goes through my mouth and my throat, and he's going to be looking for either a stricture or an ulcer. He asked me if I'm able to keep down, um, not necessarily uh, like more liquid, softer foods, and I'm having problems with solids, which is exactly what's happening every time I have something like that. I'm sick, as well as, uh, say, for example, having a wrap one day and three weeks later having a wrap and not being okay with that same type of wrap. So there must be something going on. So that's on the 22nd, so I'll be able to give you a report uh, after that. Um... I went to Ikea today and uh, did a little bit too much walking. I had my cane and I was trying to lean on the um, the buggy. I just wanted to buy a couple of lamps for um, the bed so we can read. And uh, I walked too much. So uh, I started getting in a really bad mood because I was in a lot of pain. And I can't take any painkillers because I'm driving. Then I went to go pick up my tea from Tim Hortons. It's a Canadian chain. I do believe it's not available in the States. I could be wrong. And uh, a big slab of ice from the roof on top of the um, drive-thru landed on my arm. So, uh, yeah, it's sore and it's a bit raised. So that put me in a bigger foul mood. <laughs> so at least I lost weight this week. Um, 85.2, again, that's only 15, less than 15 pounds away from being at the big 100. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, again, like I said, really excited about being at Old Navy and trying on a really nice spring jacket, very fitted at the waist. Uh, another one was sort of safari looking and can be tightened, look great. Um, just didn't want to spend the money yet because, uh, there's a lot of nice stuff and, uh, knowing that I'm going away in July, I'll probably need stuff before then because of the spring, but um, I'm hoping between now and then I'll lose, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds. So uh, looking forward to March break. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my soft foods, no solids until I go in for the procedure. So who knows what uh, my weight loss will be next week, but uh, I'm going to bed now. I'm taking my Percocet and I'm going to bed and hopefully wake up in a better mood tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic week. And uh, again, feel free to comment or subscribe or suggest, whatever. I'll be in a better mood next week. Have a good week.
Take care, YouTube.